Hey, hi, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel, where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites and the roadlights every single time. Folks, I am excited to be back here today with you with more adventuring in Pacific Drive, this weird and wonderful game that we've been enjoying. Uh, you know, after rebuilding, I went back and was able to tackle that mission where we had to connect the towers and then make our way out. It got crazy. I'll show a little bit of our escape in the lower right corner there for you to take a look at, but was able to come back with lead and finally create some lead-plated doors to stop the radiation, at least a little bit of it. So we got lead-plated doors and panels, and today what I want to do is go adventuring again and try and find more lead panels uh, so that we can protect even more of our vehicle before we try to progress a little bit further. Now, we are sporting a really nice green color along with the flame decals and our little spaceship icon on the front of the vehicle. I like it. I think we're looking good. So, let's get out there. Let's see what we can see, right? Oh, and look at this. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of a upgrade there on the steering wheel, right? Where we're going. We don't need roads. So, with the completion of that... Uh, mission and we got the dangly pizza as well uh, with the completion of that previous mission uh, we now have to get through something called the expansion wall uh, that's going to progress us further in our attempt to escape this uh zone that we're in. Now, Oppie wants us to head up that way, but for today, I'd like to continue to explore uh, this northern region. Northeastern, I guess I should say. And I want to bring back more lead so that uh, perhaps we can create the lead apron. Uh, that our, our person can wear. I don't know why I shut the car off. Okay. And uh, that's really going to be our goal. reason I want to do that is because I think that things are going to continue to get weirder and weirder out in the zone. And the more protection we can have, uh, the better off we're going to be overall. So, we're going to go we're going to go off in this direction first here. And uh you know, I'm going to be a little bit more specific about what I'm looking for. I don't know that we're going to hit every stop uh, that we potentially come across. I find that you know, some of them are more worth it than others. The other thing I want to talk to you about is something that one of our community members brought up the other day in the comments section, and uh, I, I got excited about this. So, you know, Super Blue said, boy, you know, Goat, I have uh, been learning a little bit about this game, and it's my understanding that the vehicle starts to develop a little bit of a personality and quirks, right? So one of the quirks that I have going on right now is when my car goes left or right, when it turns slightly, our headlights dim. And this is something that needs to be corrected in the diagnostics system uh, that I'm actually in the process of, of upgrading as well. But you can knock out quirks uh, by guessing correctly as to what's going on with the car. 
Holy moly. Let's see if we can get out of here with our hats. And we're going to keep going. Not seeing any plating yet, so we're going to keep rolling along here. I don't want to go through that because that really can create some, uh, some quirks, actually. All right, we're going to keep rolling along. Uh, you know, I don't want to get hit by the spikes. We'll back up a little bit. I think that's another quirk, actually, when we put it in reverse. Uh, the hood pops up. So I think we got a, we got a couple of things going on. But, to Super Blue's point, we're developing a personality in the vehicle. And... So Super Blue said, hey, Goat, you know, what if, you know, because your your vehicle is developing this personality, what if you named the vehicle? And I said, oh, man. I really like that idea. But I'm going to throw it back to you. What ideas do you have for names? So Super Blue came back and said, you know what, Goat? This car. This car of ours. Gets out there. Takes a beating. And it keeps on going. So how about... Rough Rider? Now I'll tell you what. Ladies and gentlemen. In a moment. After we demolish this crude door. And then this spare tire. I would like to introduce you to Rough Rider and or R squared. Whatever we whatever we choose. But I thank you for the idea. Super blue. I'm always tickled when you all comment. Love this community. How everybody interacts with each other out there. It's fantastic. That's why we do this. That's why we do this. It adds to the fun. So, R squared. Rough Rider. That's the name of our vehicle now. Why don't we pull off? We will give a quick visit to the cabin over here. Cabin in the woods. What a film, right? Cabin in the woods. What a time. Ooh, a TV. Okay. Let's scrap that up. Anybody getting nostalgic for their Game Boy? What a time that was. I enjoyed the handheld days. I can't say that uh, I use the handhelds all that often now. But I had a Game Boy and a Game Boy Advanced. And had a great time with those. All right, we're going to grab this energy, only we're going to park the car a little bit away because, well, if you've hung out and watched this series so far, you know that when we grab that stuff, things tend to get weird. And you know what I want to do, too? I actually have the energy sensor, the uh, anchor radar. So I'm going to pop this over here and make some room. And I'm going to bring this over. Once we pick this up, I want to use that tool because I have a feeling that that might be how you find the other types of energy out there. The the unstable energies of the world. Uh, let's see if we can fire this off and come back with a signal. 
Okay, so there is something out that way. I do want to take a look. Now, might it be the one that we already had highlighted on the map? Yeah, it might. Or it might be one that was hidden and can only be spotted with this device. I'm, I'm actually not sure. We're going to find out. See, now this... Okay. Well, let's, let's see. Let's see what happens here. So this says it's stable. Don't want to get fried or step in that green. So maybe maybe that was the one that we saw on the map earlier. I'm not sure. I thought that maybe there was a chance that that device spotted hidden anchor energy, but again, I, I don't know. Let's see. So I thought there were two of them on the map. Yeah, okay, so that was the other one. All right. I'm just going to keep turning that off, aren't I? Okay. Well, I think what we can do is head to uh, the exit road. got plenty of power from the area which is great oh man you know I gotta tell you I just watched the preview for the Borderlands film. And I know that some folks are going to say, my goodness, what have they done? I get that. It looks fun to me. It, it looks like just a fun, silly movie. And I'm here for it. I mean, should we hit this place just real quick? I'm trying to be better about turning the lights off when not in use. You know, now that we know that we've gotten all of the anchor energy from the area. I should, uh, I should fire off the device real quick and see if anything comes back. The anchor, ra anchor radar. Okay. Well, I guess we have our answer, right? So let's pop that back in there. I guess we won't be needing it. I wonder what the purpose of that device is, then. If, if you can see it out there, uh, you know, via the, the map, then, then why would you need that device? Uh, I don't know. Must be something I'm missing, which is very, very possible. There is a lot going on with this game. You know, I've, I've read a, a bunch of the reviews and I would tell you, I agree with most of them. Uh, some have talked about how the systems are... Ah, oh, doggone it. These things like to just kind of pop up, don't they? Well, let's go on through. Uh, the systems can be kind of complicated, right? I, I tend to agree with that. You know, it did take me uh, a little bit to understand what was happening uh, in, in some of these. All right, looks like we can get through there. 
Where is the blade? There it is. Alright, we're, we're gonna get a running start here. Yoink! There we go. Cheers to you, by the way. I always like to have a coffee with me when I'm going out for a ride, and uh, it holds true even in video game driving sense. Now this is going to be our secret. I talked about the other day, and it's, it's not going to be the other day for you because of when this video is going to be put out. I've got a bunch of Pacific Drive videos in the chamber. But the other day, I talked about how I was running low on coffee. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of scrounging a little bit right now. Oh, goodness. Drove too close to the sun. All right, looks like it just had me for a second. Now we're good. It likes to turn the radio on every time that happens. Um... Wait, what is that? Wait a sec, I want to get out and see what that is. Right, we're going to go investigate that. So, I'm scrounging. You know what? I found a bag of Dolce de Leche cinnamon coffee. And it's my wife's. And I'm I'm drinking it, and, and it's okay. But it's it's our secret. I, I needed the coffee. Okay, so let's scan this circuit gate. Apparently, it looks like it's broken. I wonder if I can break this down at all, or if it's got any usable parts to it. It doesn't appear. So does it. But you would think I could use some of this, uh, some of this stuff, right? Circuit gate. I'm just wondering where this is attached to. See, this has got to be connected to something that could be of, of value, right? Or no? I mean, we're really starting to, uh... Alright, you know what? We'll go back to the car. Who knows where that's gonna take us, right? There's some crud growing on that as well. Alright. So yeah, so I... I finished the bag. But I disposed of it. You know when you throw something into the trash that, that you're not proud of, right? Hey, come on. It, don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. I, I know you've done it. I don't know what it is, but you know, we've all been there where you go, Oh, God. Oh, I, that can't be at the top, right? And you pick up some of the crap in there. And you throw it on top, right? Well, that's what I did. So I, I got rid of the evidence. And this way, nobody will know. Except for you and me. Alright, we're gonna keep it that way. Counting on you. Now, let's get back in the car. We're gonna... We're gonna continue uh, our ride here. Are the wipers going? Why are the wipers going? All right, uh, we're doing okay on fuel. Hop her back in a drive. This is a cool steering wheel, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Did you have a dangly in your car? Remember when everybody had the fuzzy dice? Remember that when that was a cool thing? Maybe it is still a cool thing. I don't know. You know I just get in my car these days and I go, please turn on. Please turn on today. 
drive a little bit of a beater. Just just a little bit. What is this? The Downs. See, I think we should probably head to the Downs. There's something called the Warrens. Overcharged electricity. Perpetual stability. I don't think we've been up here yet. All right, something is maxed out. I still don't know what all of these symbols stand for. Oh, atmospheric shifts. Oh, that sounds fun. Let's do it. What could go wrong, right? We got one more area. We still have to find the lead plating. Uh, it, it hasn't shown up yet. Back roads, remote damp forest, outer zone. Okay, oh goodness. Okay, that's an atmospheric shift. Extreme conditions, gusts and gales. Oh man, all right. Well, we've got plenty of energy to activate an escape, but you know what? It doesn't look like there is one to be found here. Uh, but that's okay, that's okay. It's, it's gonna be all right because, well, because of course it is. Um, oh yeah, things are gonna get weird out here for, oh yes. Yeah, that just beat the hell out of our, uh, our, our trunk panel, didn't it? Or not the trunk, the, uh, the hood. You know, the trunk in the front, right? Sometimes the words just, uh... I almost want to fry this guy and then see if we can rip him apart with the scrapper. Uh, you know the little electric bunnies? I, I found out the other day that you can pick them up and throw them, of course. Uh, we've, we've seen me do that before, but... If you throw them on the ground, it, it kind of stuns them for a second, and you can scrap those SOBs. Yep. Hurricane Squall. Oh, that... Oh, okay. So that's... All right. Oh, wow. All right. Oh, man. Um... All right, we're gonna head off this way, but first we're going to throw it in a park. I, I really hope the car doesn't blow away. Um, oh, jeez. Alright, are you going to blow away or is it going to be alright? It's going to be alright. I just want to see what's in here. Okay, see? Every once in a while you can get something pretty good out of these things. Black paint, that could be me. Car, you got to stay situated. Don't do it to me. Now, I know all of you at home are saying, oh, come on, Goat, it would be fun. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get the car wrapped up in a torn... Oh, wow, we're going really fast now with the wind behind. That's cool. Holy smokes. All right, well, it, it, it does affect turning. I can confirm that for you. This is actually really neat. Oh, wow. All right. Yep, we're getting blown around. Uh, I am not trying to hit the trees. That That's absolutely the wind doing that. And, in fact, I wasn't even hitting the gas there for a second. So, uh, this wind is the real... Whoa. This wind is the real deal. We are getting knocked around quite a bit. Okay, we're going to come down there. We're going to grab the energy. Actually, just come down right over there. Okay, where did it go? It's right there. Now, you know, if I know Pacific Drive, I'm going to grab this, and it is... Wow, look at that. Can I scan that? That is wild. Look at that. All right. I think this is going to make everything go crazy out here. Um, yeah. 
I didn't want to be right about that either. But I think the car is parked far enough away where we'll be all right. Okay. Uh, when we get into the next area, if things are semi-normal... Oh, you know what? I figured out what these do, too. Watch this. You're going to like it. Like it. Uh-oh. All right, hold on. Let's, let's back up. Back up just a little bit. All right. Let's do it. Oh, I can't do it because that thing's in the way. All right, hold on. Hold on. Oh no. Okay. Let's let's not do that. Get back in. Fire off the thing. Okay, it fried it. Perfect. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna pass on that. I didn't know the abductor was in the area. But that's the first time I've fried one of those guys with the uh, tool. That was pretty neat. Those things, when you drive through them, it's like a turbo blast. It, it sends the car flying. All right, so once we get on the other side of this, we will make some of that goop. Oh boy, all right, so this is extreme conditions, high instability, check conditions. Uh, the ever-changing conditions in the zone can dramatically alter both the environment and the many things you may encounter out there. Be sure to plan ahead. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, I mean, we've got a full tank of gas. Um, health is looking fine. I don't know. I think we go for it, right? You know, if it's bad, we should be able to warp out, like, Pretty quickly is is what I'm thinking. Also, I, I don't have much of a choice. We kind of have to. I just hope that once we get there, we're not like in the middle of a hellscape immediately. Okay, this this looks this looks okay. So let's grab some goop, right? There's the goop, and it's, uh, there's not much goop left, so we're gonna make some putty real quick. Hopefully we can. And we cannot. No chemicals. All right. Well, so here's where we probably need it the most up here. The hood really took a beating. And things, uh, look like they're getting... Pretty serious out here, don't they? Now, like I was saying, we can warp out of here pretty quickly. Uh, but I want to see if we can grab any other types of, of energy. Um, actually, let's park right over here. Turn the lights off. Oh, I goofed that up. Where was that energy at? Oh, it's right over there. Okay. I am going to use a little bit of food. Now, this should stop. I mean, we can go around it. Doesn't look like that has a trunk that we can thieve off of. No, it's another stable energy. So then I gotta be honest, I'm not sure how to get the other energy types. All right, well this, this needs to let up. Cause we're surrounded. I don't really want to run through it. Ah, uh, here we go. All 
All right, come on. Didn't want to take it at first. All right, let's throw the lights on. Let's pop it in drive, and you know what? We need some fuel. We still have the extra large fuel can in the trunk. But I opt to use the smaller can first. So we'll just pop that right back over there. And again, still looking for the lead plates. And an opportunity to grab some of those. And we are full up on energy. Wow. I'll go a little bit further. Ouchie. But I'm not seeing too much stuff that I'm excited about. Usually you can find the lead. Uh buy those fluorescent bulb things. Usually there's lead plating uh, surrounding the areas next to it. But I am just not seeing anything uh, out there like that. I, I suppose we can try this house real quick. I mean, maybe we'll come across some chemicals. We'll be able to make some goop, right? Oh, what's happening? Oh. Car got blasted. All right, well, let's make it worth it if we can. Okay. Can't get in there. I guess that's all she wrote. Oh, wait a second. Nope. All right, let's rock and roll. I wonder if we just call this one a run, folks. You know, I mean, we're definitely coming back with some additional data. I'm just getting the car on track here for the direction that we'll probably have to go in order to get out of here. Uh, it's it's not a total loss, but I think we go for it. We did make it further out into the zone, and I think that's worth something. Just gonna snake right by. Cool. I don't feel like it was a resource-heavy run, but it was a run. I gotta figure out which areas I can go to to get the lead. I mean, I know Sierra has it. I know for a fact. So maybe we just have to chart a course for there next time around. I mean, 6.3 stable energy. I'm marginally impressed. Not bad, newbie. Probably should be happy with that. We've got a little bit of a flat tire or something going here. Pop this off. We'll pop that off. And let's see what we can do over here with all that energy. Let's do a little bit of a transfer over there. Perfect. Oh, hey, this is a new addition to the garage. I built the 
entertainment station. Let's see if I can sink one. I, I was trying for a decent amount of time last time around. I Okay, that was that was terrible. We'll give it one more one more try. Look, the goat wasn't a huge athlete back in uh, back in the day. I I ran cross country, did wrestling, and uh, then I I broke my wrist doing wrestling. Okay, so it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen this time. But that's okay. That's all right. Let's see what we got here. So two things available: light replacement kit or the flare gun, and. I don't know that I'm going to spend the energy on this. I think I'll probably wait uh, as we've already opened up the electrician's kit at this point. This would be interesting, but, you know, that's where we need that unstable energy. Um, and so I think probably that will come up as we go further into the zone. Hey folks, it's been another fun one. I promise to uh, make Rough Rider look different for next time. Maybe we'll go with black and some other type of decal. That might be fun, right? Let's see if we get lucky and this thing spits out some lead for us. Probably not. Glass scrap yeah they don't they don't want to give us those advanced supplies and I can't say I blame them all right we're gonna call it a run thanks so much for hanging out and let me know if you're still enjoying the series I'm happy to keep going and leaning into these weird and wonderful car trips and like I say I think next time around we'll Probably head, oh, let's see, not the downs, you know, maybe we can't get over to, oh, there's Sierra right there, so maybe we'll head to Sierra next time, or, I don't know, maybe we'll just hit up this uh, story mission and see what we can see out there. Hey. You have a great one. We'll do this again sometime soon. We'll get together. We'll play a roguelike or a roguelite because that's what we do every time. And uh, we'll give away a video game at least once a week. We're going to do that 200 times in 2024. And we can do that because of support from folks like you. So thank you so much. Have a great day. See you again soon.